this tutorial, I will be showing you how to add a new web page to your website in case you need something that's additional that already doesn't come included in your template. So in order to do that, what you would do is come right here underneath the pages section on the left hand side and click the plus button. If you click on this, they'll have two options. You can either select a new page or you can add a blank page. When you select new page, you're going to see this choose a page um, screen come up and this is where you can actually add pages from your library. Show it already comes with some free site libraries. So don't, um, you know, hesitate to take a look at everything and you may find something that you come across that might help you um, and save you some time. So this is beautiful. Um, this is like an information page. This is something that I currently don't have um, associated with the site. Um, I have a services tab and I have a portfolio tab, but it looks like this is kind of conjoining the two. And you can actually use this and turn it into any other page that you'd like. So if you find a page here that you kind of want to add, or if you like the design of it, you can simply click apply my fonts and colors here at the bottom. And you still will have to make edits. It's not going to be perfect, but it does kind of help you along. And then you would click add down here. And that's how you would add a brand new page to your website. Keep in mind some things to remember are they are going to have a different menu and they're also going to have a different footer. Um, you can see this is a menu. Um, this is the footer here. So you will have to still make adjustments. Um, by coming over here, you'd have to delete this footer. You'd have to delete this menu. Um, let's see here, this gallery is something that, oh, you may want to actually keep that, especially if you're going to keep the portfolio portion. But the main things to do is to delete the menus because you already have a menu set. So we'll go ahead and delete that. Now you're kind of left with the bare basics of what the page has included. Um, so what you could do is, oh, you can actually delete this portion too. This is for copyrights. We have a copyright section. Okay, awesome. Now you have the bare bones. So what you would do then is come up here, click these three dots, and then you would add a new canvas. Now, when you click on add new canvas, you want to actually go to my sites. I'm sorry, excuse me. You want to go to my library and here is where you're going to find the Paola template. Um, when you find the Paola template, what's going to happen is you want to click on, because mine is here. You're going to want to click on where the canvas is. Oh, right here, so where it's underneath site canvases. You want to find the menu, this one right here. And you kind of want to add the first one, two, three, four, five, so you want to add the first five canvases to the page and then you want to add the footer. So we'll do that now. We'll add this and then we'll go and make sure you take this and you drag it all the way to the top. Okay. Add new canvas, my sites. You would click on the Paola menu, add. All right. Oh. Make sure you take that menu and you bring it right underneath the first one that you added. Okay. And then you want to add menu navigation and drag that to the third position. Number three. Awesome. All right. And then you would go and grab the Instagram feed and you would drag that to the fourth position. And then you would grab your branding feed and this will just host your logo or your website name and add that. Now it looks like they have a logo section. We don't need this since we already have our own branding box. So go ahead and delete that as well. And now you can see this part of the page will match. And now the only thing left to do is to grab the footer. So we're going to come back over here, add new canvas and you want to select footer. Click add and you actually want to leave the footer at the very bottom. That should be one of the last things there, which is awesome. So you have that. Great. Awesome. So now you, all you have to do is go in here and you can go ahead and mess around with everything here, add your own little funky taste, whatever you need. 
All right, and you can edit the fonts. See, there you go. Awesome. And you would just go ahead and mess around with the page and do whatever you need to do with it. And that's how you would automatically import a template that's um, um, already done. So it kind of just minimizes the amount of work you do and you're not building a page from scratch. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this. Okay. And then what we can do is I'm going to show you how to add a blank page. So you would go here to pages, click on the plus, and then you click add blank page. Now you can see the new page has been added. You double click here and you can add your page name here. And then you would come in here, adjust the page however you need it to be and kind of go to town. When you go, have a blank page, really the possibilities are endless. I will um, say just be very mindful that whatever you do here, you come over to the, show, um, the mobile view and you make sure that everything makes sense as far as the mobile. Um, layout is concerned, but once you have that, um, you should be good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this. Awesome. If you have any questions regarding this um, process, head over to the Facebook support community and let me know. I'd be more than happy to assist, or you can email me at hello at bwpdesignstudio.com.